Hey guys, Andy Vidot from Atri Real Estate here. Just wanted to uh, bring you into Southern River and show you our new units that are coming to the market shortly. Um, this is a nice windy spring day. Um, ultimately, we're in the Fleshley Park Estate. Um, and as you can see, straight across the road there, there is all, um, there's no neighbours across the road, it's basically all, all bush, um, which is really nice. Um, and we are at 53 Eden Court Drive, Southern River. So come on through, let's have a bit of a look. Um, we are on a corner block as well, so you can see it sort of goes right the way around there, gives you that little bit of extra space on, the, on that side. Um, as you come through to the home, you can see this really great big wide driveway, um, all aggregate, um, and it is also a triple garage. So you've got the triple garage through there. Um, heading into the front door, you have also got this electric gate, um, which fences off the whole front area. Um, so really good use of space. You know, you've got this little bit at the front. A lot of people don't use their front yards these days just because, you know, don't want to let the kids out, etc., to play or do whatever. But you have got this front um, front space that does lock off um, and this nice low maintenance and secure. As we go through the front of the home, um, you'll see there is security cameras throughout as well. Um, we have got the big double doors, so you can open that all up. Um, and with the security screens, mesh security screens as well. Uh, it's like a crim safe style. And uh, we'll head on in. Okay. As we head in, you see basically we've got this um, really wide, nice big entranceway, nice big bulk heads through there, a um, little bit of sort of cutouts, etc. Um, the property also does have a security system, uh, which is also uh, perimeter as well as motion through there. So basically what we'll do is um, as we uh, head off, we'll head to the uh, right hand side, which is the master bedroom. Um, now what we're here, just basically we've got, we've got four bedrooms plus a study, which the study could be used as a fifth bedroom. Um, it does have three bathrooms. Um, and also I think it's about five, nearly 560 of land and also uh, two, about 250 of actual living space. That's not your garage and your frescoes, that's just living. Um, so anyway, this is a master room. Um, you can see ceiling fans, has got the full ducted reverse cycle air conditioning as well. Um, the thing I like about this as well, there is just little switches here, which you can see, um, have a little reading lights just uh, across the sides as well. So really, really nice feature through there. Um, walk-in robe, which is a good size, fully built-in walk-in robe as well. So you can see you've got um, a full-length mirror with a cupboard through there. Uh, also, it's all been sort of set out nicely with the uh, drawers, cupboards, etc. Uh, then we'll head through to the, the ensuite. Um, with the home as well, you will see that uh, all the doors, I love this beautiful feature that's, that's in all the doors as well. So everything in here is a really good quality. Um, as you can see, we've got tiling right up to the ceiling through there. Um, your double rain head showers with your um, glass shower screen door there as well. Um, a nice big, deep spa bath as well, which is nice. And just a bit of contrasting tiling, but all in neutral colors as well. So it looks really good. Uh, you've got your, your stone bench tops, double vanities, uh, dual cupboards, and then a few drawers in between as well. Um, and then also uh, you have your toilet there with your um, privacy door. So yeah, so come on through. We'll have a bit of a look a little bit further. So you want down here. So as we move through, we're going to move into the, the sort of main living area, I suppose, if you want to call it that. Um, we walk through, you've got your, um, and this is really quite a big table, so it gives you a good idea of, of the space that's here as well for the, for the meals area. Just behind the meals area as well, um, as far as built-in furniture goes really nice, you've got a, a full stone bench top through there, plenty of cupboards, um, and also cupboards up the top as well through there. Um, has got a power station through there, which is really nice, um, and comes off the garage as well, so there's keys and bits and pieces that you could leave there. Um, we'll head through this way, just have a quick look at the, uh, the kitchen. So you've got your kitchen, which is sort of, it, it's a big kitchen, but sort of tucked away a little bit, but still feels open to the rest of the home. Um, full stone bench tops with that water fall edge, which is really nice. A um, couple of feature lights there as well. Uh, plenty, of, plenty of cupboards, built-in dishwasher, um, your big 900 oven uh, with your gas gas cooked up, um, all overhead cupboards right throughout. Um, and also this fridge here, so it's a decent sized fridge, it's a, it's a double door fridge and you can still see there's a lot of plenty of extra room there. So if you had a really big fridge, plenty of space for it. Um, and then your full walk-in robe as well. Um, full shelf, plenty of shelves through there as well. So 
um, really nice walk-in pantry. Um, the thing I do like about this kitchen, um, as well as having the obviously the double troughs through there, which is all inlaid, nice tapware, um, but it actually has um, a mesh screen that pulls down as well through here, through the servery. So you've got your bifold windows, which you can open up, um, but you can also have this rundown, which has got a, a fly screen mesh as well. So sometimes I'll see them, you can open them all up, but then obviously you can have flies and bits and pieces coming through. So um, it's nice to have that. It's probably the first time I've seen that really, really good idea. So nice. And it also does have the blind there as well. So if you wanted to block it all off, you can do that. Come on through. This is the, the, the main living area. Um, which you can see has got a beautiful um, gas fireplace, mantelpiece through there, a couple of in cuts with some built in furniture on either side as well, um, with the feature down lights through there. So, really nice feel about, about this room. Um, we'll just go ahead back a little bit quickly, just so I can show you what's going on here. And this is the entry to the triple garage. Uh, once again, right throughout the home, all these feature doors. Um, and you do have the security crimp mesh on the garage door as well, so you can leave that open with the garage doors open. Bring that airflow through as well. Windy day outside. Um, this bedroom, well, this room here, it does have robes. So could use it as a bedroom. Um, ultimately, they've got it set up as their workspace or um, you know office area. So it could be this is where you could be the, the fifth bedroom or a study. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it there. Once again, ceiling fans, reverse cycle air conditioning happening through there. Um, and then directly opposite from the kitchen, across the living space, um, you've got your sort of sunken theatre, which is really nice, really high ceilings, gives it that really high ceilings with the uh, bulkhead effect through there. Um, and uh, obviously that's a really big screen that's there, so you can see, um, really nice. The other feature they've got, which I really liked in this home, um, was this blind through here. Now I think you can, I'll just pull it up quickly so you can see what it actually is. It's actually got, so you can see the sunlight coming through, but as you pull it down, you can see it runs inside these tracks on either side, which gives it the full block out um, for the theatre, uh, which is a great idea. I see a lot of theatres with windows that have blinds, um, and you're still getting that little bit of light come through. With those tracks on the side, fully blocks it out, so really nice. Right, so that's your theatre room. Then as we head on through, uh, we'll go through to the area where the minor bedrooms are as well. Um, there is this door here as you come into this space, which is um, really good. You can close that off. You've got you know, your parents or your living or your entertaining up that end. Um, and the parents, uh, the uh, kids, if kids, uh, we can lock that space off and they've still got this space through here. Um, now the thing about this with the minor bedrooms, there is this room as well, um, which I suppose would be a games room if you wanted to uh, use it as a games room or a TV room. Um, the old games room's changed now. It's really very much the gaming room. Um, so yeah, this space and access out into the outdoor area, which we'll go out to a little bit later and have a bit of a look. Um, once again, ceiling fans, reverse cycle air conditioning, down lights everywhere. These beautiful feature doors again. So basically, this is one of the first of the minor bedrooms. So you can see it's decent sized rooms, has the blinds plus the block out curtains on there, um, good sight high ceilings. Uh, reverse cycle air conditioning and your double robes with your mirror on as well so it's really good um, nice carpet it's almost a bit of a like a long pile not too long but longer um, and then off to the common bedroom common bathroom i should say now with that as well the bedroom that we were just in there is this door here as well which works as a, a semi ensuite so really good for guests having that that ensuite through there uh, once again we've got fully tiled right to the ceilings You've got your heat lamps through there. Um, also got a bath in this in this uh, bathroom as well. Uh, nice big window through there. Stone bench tops, plenty of cupboards, good nice long mirror through there. And um, your glass screen scale with your, your rain head through there as well. Um, you'll see on the, on the cornices, the, the feature cornice, which is really nice as well. So every little detail is, is really being sort of put into the home. Come through. The other little thing as well, I don't know, if you've seen this before but basically this one through here it opens up now what it is is a um, ducted vacuuming system throughout the home you'll see these little things on the wall throughout um, it's really easy you just plug a pipe in vacuum around the home unplug the pipe 
put it into the next one. Beauty of that is good for your back and stuff like that because you're not sort of dragging around heavy vacuum cleaners. Good for the floor, you're not scratching it, etc. So really, um, really good feature to have in home. Uh, you got your linen cupboard. Once again, is a really good size linen cupboard. Plenty of space in there for your um, sheets, towels, etc. Okay. Okay. That's to the opposite side. Um, now, obviously, you've got a bath, uh, a powder room, I suppose, if you want to call it that, with um, also your sink in there as well. Nice big long mirror in there. Then we'll head through to this space. <laughs> you've got your laundry. Beautiful little puss cats here. <laughs> um, you can see the laundry, it's got a glass door on it, but it also has got the security screen on the back there as well. So each door has got that security thing that you can leave the doors open and let that air through. I do say that a lot on a lot of my videos that they do have that because I think it is a really um, undervalued feature of a home to be able to keep your security there and that door open. <laughs> Beautiful little cats. <laughs> um, and then we've got your bench top, quite, quite a nice high bench top. So if you're doing stuff there, you know, once again, really designed for your back and stuff, which is great. Um, plenty of cupboards, um, doors through there, so all soft clothes. Plenty of cupboards up the top. And once again, even the laundry, fully tiled to the ceiling and high ceilings as well. So the, the house is high ceilings throughout, everywhere. Um, next of the minor bedrooms. Um, so you can see these bedrooms quite good space as well. Um, they've got quite a big bed in there. They've got a study desk and some furniture as well. Um, so you can, gives you a bit of a concept of the, of the size. Um, good quality carpet, skirting boards throughout. Um, yeah, really nicely done. Um, and then your big robe through there as well. Um, as we head through, I'll turn a light on here. It is. Yeah, come through. Basically, you've got a uh, once again semi ensuite through there, um, which basically has a double vanity. Um, and I'll explain to you why that happens in a minute. You have got your toilet and your glass screen shower through there as well. So that's basically an ensuite. And I, I, I won't go through this door, I'll take you through the other way just so you can sort of understand the concept of what's happening there. So we'll head through this way. And you've basically got the last of the minor bedrooms. Um, this room particularly is nice. You have got that, that window out there which gives you the view straight out to the swimming pool. Um, and once again, you know, good bit of space in here with your double robes. Um, this door here, uh, as I said, which is at the back of that door, which also gives you that semi ensuite. So the two minor bedrooms share an ensuite, which is really nice. So you've got your master with the ensuite, you've got your common bathroom, plus you've got this ensuite that Obviously, it's combined with the two sinks or two vanities as well. So really, really nice. All right, well, that's, that's pretty much the internals of the home. Um, as I said, reverse cycle air conditioning. You've got your security systems. You've got um, skirting boards throughout. So um, plenty, of, uh, plenty of feature through there. Um, the home also does, ha actually, we'll go this way. Home does have solar panels. Um, does have a bore as well. Um, so there's nothing that I could probably think of that this home doesn't have that, you know, maybe people ask. But let's go outside, let's have a bit of a look what's going on out here. Come on through. Screen door self-closing there. Once again, nice. Okay. Um, as you can see through this area, this is a servery from the kitchen through here, which you can see through there. Nice, so we can go right through um, into this space. Now, once again, we've got a extended alfresco area. So this is quite long with speakers in, in the ceiling, lots of down lights, ceiling fan as well. Um, and just these um, pavers, uh, it's like a travertine. Well, I'm sure it is travertine. Uh, travertine, which I know is, um, you know, quite a big expense to put into that. Uh, you've got outdoor kitchen or your barbecue, which is all covered by the weather. Um, obviously, just your hot water system, etc., down that side of the home as well. Um, and then as we head up this way, I really like this pool. Um, it's got the glass screening, so it's almost that it runs straight through. You've got no barrier as such. It's that. But the um, I really like the shape of this pool. It's, uh, you know, nice and square. Uh, I haven't seen too many of the square pools and a good size as well. Um, you have got your steps down. You've got a ledge on the edge there as well that you can sit on. Um, has got a water feature there that you can have on or off. Um, and the pool is heated as well, or heated and you never know, hot or cold up to you, but um, it, it, you can heat it up as well, which is really nice. So come on through this way. 
Right. So you've got this um, door through here, which I think this might be open, not sure. No. Um, you'll see back through here, which I really like this wall because it just keeps everything out of the way. Um, so you've got your pool filters, um, hot water system, um, air conditioning unit, and also a bit of a storage shed through there as well, uh, which is all out of the way, not in the middle of your entertainment area, um, and really, you know, private from everything. So they, they've done it really, really well. All right, we'll head up this way. Um, also, that's that's the entrance there off the, the games room or gaming room. Yeah, so that's um, that's pretty much Eden Court Drive, Southern River in Bletchley Park Estate, uh, one of the, one of the sought after estates. Um, if this home looks like something that might suit you or that you'd be interested in, please uh, make contact with me, uh, as, you know, which, whichever way you can, whether it be phone, email, or off the, the page itself. Um, yeah, look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you.